grieving through the loss of a loved one while they're still alive. And so today I want to share this idea with you because a lot of times when we talk about grief, we're thinking about grieving of someone who has already passed. But sometimes what happens is we have to go through the grieving process of someone who is still present, but they are no longer what we think they are in our head. So for example, sometimes when we talk about parent-child relationship, a lot of times when our parents are not ready to change, they may do a lot of things to hurt us. And there will come a time where we will have to accept them for who they are. But there's a lot of pain that goes in with that because in our head, they have wronged us, they, they, uh, or we just want them to be someone that they are not. And so we will have to go through this grief of letting go of this image in our head so that we can move on. So how do we go about doing that? So one of the things that I sometimes suggest people to do is to write letters to this person. So for 10 days straight, write down, write a letter to this person. Tell them everything that is in your mind. Of course, this letter is not going to be sent to them. They're not going to read it. This is just for you. Tell them how much they have hurt you. Tell them how much, um, what they have done to you. Tell them um, how much you hate them. Tell, tell them how much you love them. Tell them all the t good times and the bad times and keep writing. Every day, write, set, a timer five minutes ten minutes just write everything that is on your mind and you can cry you can scream whatever and then the next day do it again and do it again and do it again for 10 days straight if you find that you can um it it's good you you have enough then you may stop at the 10 days if you need more then you can keep going on and then and then at the very end, there will come a point where you're like, you know what, I'm ready to really let this go. So then on that day, what I recommend people to do is write a thank you letter. A thank you letter to thank that person for everything that they have provided for them, everything that they've given them, both the good and the bad and the painful and how all of these things have benefited you. Because at some point in time, when our parents or other people have done something to us, it's a step for us to learn. How do we get stronger? How do we own our voice? How do we protect ourselves? We have in a way benefited through that. And so at the very end, when we come from gratitude, of them doing all these things because it doesn't matter what they do. At the end of the day, it's because I have taken this step for me so I am a stronger person. Then it kind of wraps up everything to say, okay, then now I can accept them as a person, as who they are. I don't need them to change and I am also able to accept who I am and I don't need myself to change. And then move on. And so this is how we're going to go through the process of grieving through a loved one who is still alive, that we have to sort of accept them for who they are and we can't do anything to change them. And this is how we move on, accept them and be able to move on. I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions and if you're at a stage where you feel you have to do this, please send me a message so that I can hold you through that because this is a very um, hurt, like painful experience and I want to be there for you. So let me know and um, I'll be right here with you.